All right. So the other day I was talking with a client about something that I feel we all, we all who in the gym culture, we all have heard of this. I think most of us are in the same boat when we think that we have that we have an anabolic window and what I mean by this is I'm sure most of us have heard that as soon as you're done your workout you got to go rush and get your get your protein shaken and that's just not true when it comes to the anabolic window we have this 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 thought that we have to get in our protein and most people think it, it could be due to um, a spike of insulin so we could actually absorb more protein, which there are some reasons behind that. So the, the, the metabolic movement, the, the contractions of your muscle do have the ability to take in nutrients without insulin. So that, that's, that's plausible. And we do know that uh, working out increases muscle protein synthesis but this anabolic window it just doesn't really exist and studies have been done where they look at individuals who who ate before and after and then individuals who ate before and after uh, referring to a workout but from a, a larger uh, time frame so right before and right after compared to individuals who did it you know, maybe three hours before and three hours after. And what they saw was that there was actually no difference. Now they both, both groups got stronger, but there was actually not much difference as, as far as overall results. So time and time again, we're starting to realize that this anabolic window just doesn't exist. Is there a benefit to it? Yes, there is a benefit because if you're an athlete and you actually trying to be in the best shape possible, what will happen is you do, you, you just exerted your energy, you do want to recover, especially if you're gonna get into another workout tomorrow or even more intense, maybe you're going for a second workout that day. Now you want to take every opportunity you can to get in that protein because every time you take in protein, you do stimulate muscle protein synthesis. I mean, there's a little bit of nuance on that, but it, let's just say about 20 grams of protein, and you do want your full range of amino acids combined with uh, leucine, uh, and this will typically ensure that you're gonna have that protein synthesis. And you don't wanna have it in a bolus, right? You don't wanna have all your protein at once. Typically, every three hours, if you're really trying to get in as much protein as possible and really stimulate, uh, stimulate as much protein synthesis as possible. But to come back on topic, this anabolic window, we all think about, we all freak out. We, we just worked out and we gotta get that, 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 that protein shake and we don't have to. And this is great news because sometimes people, they want to, they want to work out early in the morning and they might not want to eat right away and they feel like they do or maybe they'll lose their gains. We could all calm down. Work out, make sure you're getting your meals, make sure you're getting adequate protein, which could be a whole other topic. But for most of us, about 1.2 grams per kilogram is most likely enough. Yes, you could put a little bit more in there, but 1.2, is most likely enough for all of us. So that being said, don't stress so much on your protein. Yes, it's good for recovery, but you'll be all right if you can only get it in in a couple hours. I'll see you guys later.